I want to speak on something. It does not remotely matter who you are. We've all been through something that changed our lives drastically. And whether it was something that was done to us, very shameful, and is hard to heal and forgive and um, move past that kind of trauma, or whether we personally did something to others that traumatized them and changed the course and the direction of their life, and um, perhaps things could have turned out completely different had we made a better decision and choice in our actions. Bottom line, I've come here to still every breath in me, give back to the Lord and talk about Jesus and how he can change us. And every second is a chance to turn your life around. Once you've been born again and saved, it, it's impossible to stay quiet about the Lord and what he did to take you from a place of doom and death and just the demise of you and destruction and danger, uncertainty to being alive again and have a new hope even in spite of trials and challenges and things that are supposed to like scare the living daylights out of you. We're still going to shine his light even in the darkest places. We're still going to listen to his voice and follow him in spite of what people may tell you to do differently with the course of your life because it's God who establishes our steps. It's him who's laid that path out in front of us and we have that duty to walk it in spite of other people's input because nobody ever in this entire lifetime will know you like God, Abba, your creator, who knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb, who's been there every single moment and second of your life like nobody else ever will. It's only about Jesus. It's always been about Jesus. And everything we do should be honoring and pleasing to him. Even if we fall, it's not doesn't mean to stay in that place where you fell and to surrender to the snares of the wicked and in the wiles of the devil don't stay in that place come away from it because not only are you injuring others around you but this is also going to be the calling for your eternity and no matter how long things are dragging on in this place that we're in right now the only hell we should ever have to go through it's time after we exit this earth is 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 infinite and whether you believe it or not it's not worth gambling with where you will spend eternity so as born again believers I encourage the brethren in the body of Christ to just keep shining his light whether people are receptive or rejective to it it's still something that you can't hide it under a bushel you are, you are to continue to let his light so shine because where else is it going to go it's going to go where it's meant to and you might not always get the reaction you expect because you're shining a light in a very dark place that's offensive and people have adjusted their eyes to the darkness and and the human nature is to desire things of the darkness and, and to try to pull away from the Lord, our creator. But his ways and his thoughts are beyond ours. So just be obedient to him. Trust him in all things. Never go by how it looks. Always go by your faith in Jesus. It's faith, not sight. Thank you, Lord.